I just done a really good vlog and I forgot to push the bloody record button in. Damn. Okay, take two. <laughs> see if I can remember what I said. Yeah, I was watching a um, a video this morning about um, you know how other people's diets affect me and everybody else. Like something as simple as a diet, your diet, what you eat, or what the majority of people eat, affects everybody, the whole planet. I mean. I'm told by my family that I shouldn't spread the message. You know, why do you keep spreading the message? Why do you keep telling people? Why don't you just keep it to yourself? You know, you're healthy, you're happy with what you're doing, but you shouldn't be telling other people what to do. It's like, well, actually it does affect me and it affects everybody on the planet. So we should be spreading the message. We should be telling people that cutting down the rainforests, cutting down trees, is wrong to grow crops obviously you cut down the trees to grow crops to f and farm animals to feed you know crops to feed these animals to eat meat um, and we need trees to survive we need oxygen the planet needs trees and also we're raping the oceans for fish and we need <laughs> we need the oceans we get 70 percent of our oxygen from the ocean 30 percent from the trees so once we, once the trees go, once the, once the life in the ocean goes, once all the plankton goes and all the, um, the oxygenating species in the ocean, it's, we're finished. We're finished. But it's over. It's game over. There's no second chances. And people are telling me that I shouldn't be spreading the message. You know, you should just keep it to yourself. Why do you keep spreading the message? Just, you know, you're happy with it. You know, don't tell anybody. But... I will always tell people about it. I'll never go back to eating meat and dairy. I'll always, I'll always spread the message in some way, one way or another. You know, I might take a break from it, but I'll always come back and do something. You know, I always feel better doing something. Even if you know, as long as there's a couple of people watch it, I don't care. I'll continue doing it. But my family is ill. My dad's got heart disease, he had a stroke when he was my age. My auntie's got Parkinson's. My uncle's had cancer. Um, my cousin is obese. She lives in America, she's obese. Um, my cousin's like a caffeine addict, they can't go one day without caffeine. It's just. But people seem to accept illness now. People seem to accept illness, like they've got Parkinson's, so, you know nothing to do with diet, they believe it like, you know, it's God or it comes out of the sky or, you know, you just, it's bad luck or, they just don't correlate health with diet, it's just, I just can't believe it, I just can't believe it, it's just crazy to me that, you know, and when I say, you know, you tried like your diet, changing your diet, um, they just look at me as if I'm like, Sean, come on, it's not diet, it's just, everyone's going to get it. Everyone's going to get Alzheimer's, everyone's going to get heart disease, everyone's going to get Parkinson's. You know, it's not diet. It's kind of frustrating, you know, your own family. I, I feel as though it does feel like, um, you know, I've done all this research and read books, been on the internet and everything else. And I'm doing it for myself. I'm actually doing it. So. It, you know, I've been a vegetarian since the age of 20. I haven't eaten meat since the age of 20. And I've been a vegan for nearly four years now, so... They must look at me and say... I mean, they do. My cousin actually said, you know, it's working for you. It's working for you. It's actually working, you know. But... People just don't want to change. They don't want to commit to it. They don't want to, you know, commit to the lifestyle. They just... Maybe one day they will. Maybe one day they'll wake up and think, you know... But then it's too late. They get some disease and it's too late. But I was reading a book on um, Steve McQueen's biography, and um, he, as you know, I don't know if you know, but he got cancer. It was like because he worked with asbestos, I think. Apparently, he reckons he worked with asbestos in the armed forces, and it's like this asbestos type uh, lung cancer, and. He was just drinking and smoking and 
eating all the wrong foods, man. And then when he got it, he was like going to this place where they done like whole foods, but they still done a little bit of meat. But there's like mostly fruits and vegetables and whole foods. And he was still smuggling in meat and dairy and all that from his friends. And just people can't help themselves, man. They could just, like people are even dying and they still can't. They can't help themselves. They have to have that, you know, meat and dairy and cigar. I think he's smoking cigars now and again and stuff like that. So it wasn't. It's such a sad story, man. But he just couldn't help himself. He couldn't help himself in the end. So he didn't actually die of the cancer. He had an operation to remove a cancerous tumor from his stomach and his heart. He got a clot in his heart, so it wasn't actually the ca his cancer was going down. You know, via this treatment, this whole foods treatment in Mexi New Mexico, or Mexico, where it was. And he died from this uh, blood clot going in his heart. So it's quite interesting that it was actually working towards the end. But, but yeah, going back to this, you know, the point, um, you know, everyone's diet, like the mainstream diet, does affect me. It affects me, it affects, you know, the pollution and everything else you know, on the planet. You know, it affects my future and people's children's future. You know, we should be spreading the word. So don't let anyone so tell you that you shouldn't be saying anything. I'm never going to stop telling people about it. I'm always going to spread the message. I'm always going to wear my t-shirts, my hoodies, talk about it when I, you know, I'm always going to spread the word. It really irks me that, you know, people say that. Oh, you mustn't, don't tell people what to do. Don't, you know, it's my fucking right to tell people what to do, especially when it's affecting my future. So yeah, just a little video there. It's lovely today. I'm just getting the last bit of the sun. I can't believe it's going to be autumn in a couple of weeks, officially autumn, but we, you know, we still get a bit of sun towards the end of autumn, but it's lovely today, so I'm just making the most of it. Lovely jumbly. So yeah, thanks for watching, and don't let anybody tell you you shouldn't be spreading the message. And I'll see you next video.